Piriformis syndrome, piriformis test. Piriformis syndrome is becoming popular, and this syndrome is not clearly understood. There is minimal information related to the subject of piriformis syndrome. So what is piriformis syndrome? It is a condition of leg pain or sciatica due to compression of the sciatic nerve at the hip. So the sciatic nerve is irritated, not from a spine problem, but from problems related to and associated with the piriformis muscle. Clearly, the piriformis syndrome can be confused with sciatica and lower back pain. Sometimes it is hard to differentiate between piriformis syndrome and lumbar spinal disc herniation, which both can cause sciatica. Straight leg raising test is the gold standard at the clinical test to diagnose disc herniation thus irritating the sciatic nerve. Elevation of a painful limb can cause sciatica and radicular pain to the leg. Other clinical tests are described but not frequently used. If the test is positive, consider spine problems. Herniated disc is typically the source of sciatic pain. Patient that undergoes surgery to remove a herniated disc will get better from the surgery if there is a positive straight leg raising test before the surgery. Sometimes the test is called the stretch test. A stretch test is positive. Let's talk about the piriformis syndrome and piriformis test. The piriformis muscle arises from the anterolateral part of the sacrum and is inserted into the posterior aspect of the greater trochanter, deep into the buttock. The pain associated with the piriformis syndrome is usually deep in the buttock and the posterior thigh. It may include the posterior aspect of the leg due to irritation of the sciatic nerve. The patient may complain of pins and needles down the leg, and confusion may happen and the patient may be misdiagnosed as lumbar spine disc herniation. There are several tests commonly used to diagnose piriformis syndrome. The Lassoud maneuver, which a test is stretching the nerve, and the fair test, which is stretching the piriformis muscle itself. The Lassoud's maneuver. Reproduction of the pain by the hip being flexed to 90 degrees and the knee extended. The test can also be done with the patient on the side. The other test, the FAIR test. FAIR test is not Faber test. Faber test is used to diagnose sacroiliac joint problems. FAIR test is a piriformis syndrome test. So we're gonna assess if stretching of the muscle is causing pressure on the sciatic nerve and patient symptoms. How do you do the stretching of the piriformis muscle? You do that by flexing, adducting, and internally rotating the hip. This maneuver will stretch the piriformis muscle and will cause symptoms because it will compress the sciatic nerve. It will put tension on the piriformis muscle and it will reproduce the symptoms of the patient. Also, during these maneuvers or these tests, 
When the examiner adds pressure on the posterior part of the buttock, the patient will complain of severe tenderness and pain. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.